It's just 31 days to the election day, and what the Electoral Commission feared the most has happened. We hereby issue an order of satiorari, removing into this court, for the purposes of being quashed, the decision of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, awarding the tender for the printing of the election materials, including ballot papers for the presidential election scheduled for the 8th August 2017 to the first interest parties hearing, which decision is hereby quashed. B, an order of mandamus compelling the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, to commence de novo the procurement process for the award of the tender for the printing of election materials for the presidential election scheduled for 8th August 2017. The judges ruled that the process of awarding the tender failed to meet the constitutional threshold on public participation. IEBC having single source to the tender after it was twice cancelled by the courts. There can be no gap in the application of the rule of law and the court must at all times embrace a willingness to oversee executive action and to refuse to countenance behavior that threatens either basic human rights or the rule of law. The court went on to state that as, a, as nature abhors a vacuum, even the enforcement of the rule of law abhors a vacuum or a gap in its enforcement. Judges, however, dismissed Nasser's claims that President Kenyatta had met officials of Al Ghurair and that the firm could not be trusted as it had been involved in integrity issues in other parts of the world. But the Dubai-based firm, citing that it will incur heavy losses due to the cancellation, requested the judges to set aside the orders for seven days as it prepares to appeal the decision. In the absence of an order for stay, we will proceed to stop because the contract has been nullified. But if an order for stay is granted, there is nothing irregular, there is nothing unlawful in us proceeding with the stay. Uh, sorry, with the printing when the time comes to do that. So let's take seriously your argument about costs. Yes. And supposedly we, the stay is granted and you continue printing. Yeah. Okay. And then sup suppose, it, suppose that the Court of Appeal agrees with our decision and it does so before August 8th. Yeah. Then what happens? It nullifies the decision after you have printed. Yes. Then what happens to the cost argument? We're not going the, to. Then you would have, you would have, in effect, have aggravated the cost, yeah. not mitigated the cost. In the interest of time, the commission will have to burn the midnight oil in search of a new firm to print the presidential ballot papers in time for the election on August 8th. The ruling, however, only affects the printing of presidential ballots, which Al Ghurair says was scheduled to start on the 18th of July. Unless the appellate court rules differently if Al Ghurair goes ahead to file an appeal, as lawyer Waweru Gatonye indicates, then the 2.5 billion shilling tender will have to be split between Al Ghurair and the firm that will win the tender to print the presidential ballot papers. NASA held the ruling as a sabasaba gift to Kenyans and a milestone to democracy. NASA presidential flag bearer Raila Odinga's advisor Salim Lone's statement to newsrooms reads in part, and I quote, coming on the heels of the previous landmark court decision that the results declared at polling stations were final and cannot be changed, this ruling also constitutes a serious rebuke of the IEBC. Odinga calls upon the IEBC to convene a meeting of all presidential candidates on the way forward, including helping it to identify a credible printer capable of meeting the deadlines. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Weekend.